Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are once again in Lothlorien with some very nice uh, kind of background music going on. It's very, very soothing. And we have our quest with Legolas obviously, but before we do that we have our whole gift of the day and the week ready to have a look at. So first off, what are we getting from this? Fine, Madam Hunter's armor. We might end up using that. It's bound to a count though, so if another character needs it, I might uh, move it over. That's very lucky. That's a uh, legendary, which I think is actually the highest uh, rarity. And also then we have this, which is going to be a term of defense. I almost feel like these have been switched, considering uh, incomparable is what it is. Uh, Fine, Madam Hunter's armor is on the gold one, but you know, I still got something good on the uh, the first one, so I'm not so mad about the second one. Uh, so yeah, we have to go talk to Legolas. I would be delighted Let's if go you talk to you. And this is a solo quest that cannot go. be completed with a fellowship. Let's have a look at that. So I don't know if that's going to be a kill a, kill a lot of things uh, one, or it's going to be a story one. It could be either. Though the memory be now dim, of old, elves and dwarves were close in friendship. Legolas of Mirkwood and Gimli the dwarf, through shared hardship, have rekindled the old bonds. Even now, they look for orcs to slay beneath the eaves of Lothlorien. Okay, so we are going to have to potentially kill some, kill some orcs with Legolas what and Gimli. Protect Legolas and Gimli. Cool. This way. Which way? You're looking that way, but I assume that way. They both have a ton of quest. Uh, quest? <laughs> they have a ton of health. See, the problem with this sort of thing is I can set walk on, and yeah, it's going to be nice, but I'm still too fast because I get plus 30% speed. Hold! Are there going to be enemies? Well, something gets shot. Something definitely died back here. I mean, this is... Corpse of Orc Pursuer. So something is dead. This thing. Let's get a bit of haste on us. You didn't see it. Can't, can't complain. Oh, here's our chance. Oh, our chance to lay out. This also gives us our... Uh, Start of an orc sled eat, obviously, that's always nice. Uh, which is how many in this area? In Dimral Dale and uh, that place, Fanuidhol. And that is kill a hundred of them, so that means the advance is going to be kill two hundred of them. There must be remnants of this troop still within the woods. Yep. I like how those corpses disappear, but this one's fine. It stays there, just as a memory of the death of it. Okay. So I have to keep an eye out. Obviously they're gonna appear on the map. What did you say, Gimli? Do you orf or uh, dwarf eyes? Orc eyes. Um Oh he's smelling them. There they are. Oh and you can see them they're invisible. So some of them are 58, some of them are 60. Okay. So it's not a one, or well, maybe some of them are 59. No, it looks like majority 58, and then with a few 60s sprinkled in. Which is weird. You would have maybe expected it to be like 58 and 59, or 59 and 60, but having two levels, two separate types of level. I don't know. Now, all we're going to do is just, we'll do is rapid fire, give us an excuse to use it. We haven't had a chance to use it as of late, so that's uh, been slightly upsetting. Only lasts for 10 seconds, though. So, and you can see we went from like 2,500-ish to, you know, a lot less. Hey. Oh, someone's asking for me. Follow Legolas and Gimli to the eaves of the wood. Yeah, apparently there's a dwarf asking for me. It's probably from Moria, you would expect. But which one? I can't remember which one. If it was Boreal Bosi that's been captured. I can't remember. 
because their names are so similar. Um, let's see. Oh, see. Cool. Gimli, Gloin, Sun. They know each other. Yay! Talk to the Galadrian Warden, though, and then. Let's get out of that instance and talk to Bosi, who I don't know if they are... Okay, we are now in... We are now in, uh... Karis Galdon. Watch over Bosi's audience with Celeborn. Cool. Let's have a look at what's going on there. And then we'll see if we can maybe pick up the, uh, travel skills of Karis Galdon as well, because I don't know if we're at the re right rep. We need lower rep to get the skill than we do to get in the place. Uh, which is always a weird one, but... You can get in, well, to get through the gates, that is. You can get in a different way. Alright. That's a cool outfit. The colors, I think, work quite well. Okay. Celeborn and Galadriel. Let's have our meeting with you. <laughs> we'll be the the in between. Yep, that's true. So, he is trying to get help. You hear a woman's voice inside your head. <gasps> Did it say something here? Oh, no. My truth is that... I just messed up. But it must happen if we survive the coming tide. Let's not mess this up constantly. Let's see if it, it should come up now. Or not. I don't know. I don't know if it works in the F12. It surely should. Yay! Gonna come help. Cool. Okay. Was it you talking in my head? Probably. Let's finish that. Now we have a ton of quests, uh, deeds as well, showing up in our stuff. Okay. Gimli. We said we were gonna go with this one, didn't we? My road lies with Frodo. I have made my decision. So you go, you go with Frodo. I go with Bosi. Okay, right then. Our legendary item leveled up. We're also going to level it up via this. Hopefully, I don't know if that'll actually be enough. It's not close. Close though. So now we need to go wherever Bosi is. And Bosi's still in. Yeah, he's in the cro Chamber of Crossroads near Drone's Way in Moria. What I'm going to quickly do, though, is uh, I'm going to go see if, one, we can enter Karis Galadon, and if not, uh, if we can, we can guarantee we can get the travel skill. If not, I'm going to enter anyway via the other entrance and see if we can pick up the travel skill, or at least where we need to be reputation-wise to pick up the travel skill. So I'm going to quickly make my way over there, and I will see you at the entrance, which is, um, you know, there. And also we can pick up the Stable Master either way. Okay, so now we approach. Let's quickly get the Stable Master talked Hail to. And well cool. And then let's go up to the gate of the entrance, obviously. I'm pretty sure we won't be able to enter through the gate, because I think we have to get uh, do a quest technically for this guy um, when we get the amount of reputation. But... Just check. Using that has no effect, so we cannot go to Karis Galadon in Karis Galadon yet, except we can go use this rope. Oh. Can't even use the rope. 
Oh. Or is it this rope? Let's wait for that to go away and see if it does the same thing. Okay. At this point, I guess we can't even use that, which I thought we, uh, thought we could. We might have to get to a specific quest point, though. I know for a fact that you're supposed to be able to go in here via these two rope bits before you're supposed to be able to go in there. Um, maybe I need to be an extra rep up, uh, rep level above what I am now for that to, uh, to be a thing. To you. Also trying to work out vineyards of Lorien and Saren Aroth. I have to complete the uh, ally and defender and I also have to complete warrior to get that one. And I haven't visited yet as well. So I guess we have uh, quite a lot of stuff to do still. Either way, that's a good move for this episode for now though. Next episode, we'll obviously have to go back to Moria. Once again, we're going to and fro quite a lot um, between the two. You know, a lot of up here, then back down here, then up here, then back down here. But it's worth it in the end. It is part of the quests. And uh, obviously, eventually, we'll get our travel skill to here. And it will make all the, the moving between the areas a lot quicker as well. So that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the Chamber of the Crossroads with Bori or Bosi in the next episode. Bye-bye.